this is the Morgan Minute. Today I have the distinct pleasure of being joined here with Dwayne Jackson and Blake Bozeman. How are you guys doing today? I'm good. That's good. Um, let's get into it. What is your classification? Um, I'm a, a senior last year. And I'm a sophomore. Sophomore. What are you pursuing at the university? Um, sociology right now. Sociology? Business marketing major. Business mar okay. Everybody knows that you guys are athletes. So how does it feel, you know, is there any pressure being a student athlete? Um, there's not really pressure. It's just a lot. Just that just comes with it, I guess. I mean, you just have to watch what you do, watch what you say. Like when you're around people, you never know who's listening for real. Uh, I agree with Dwayne. I don't think it's pressure, but I think um, I, know, I, I think it's, it's definitely different. People pay attention to what you do. Sometimes, you know, I, I forget. Sometimes, you know, my teammates forget. But I mean, I think there, there's an eye on us, you know, kind of, kind of at all times. So you just gotta be be aware. Uh, student athlete, favorite place to study. Well, well, no, let's not say favorite place to study. What do you What do you think is your best time to study? I mean, being an athlete, I mean, we have special times. Like, our, everything is just, like, maxed out, planned out. Like, we have a schedule, like, where we go study as a team. Okay. Like, we eat as a team. So everything is, like, where we planned out. Like, we don't have to go to the library. We have our own oh, okay. student athletic department where we can go. So everything is, like, really just scheduled out for us. Um... It's mandatory study hall for uh, for at least members of the basketball team your freshman and sophomore year, and um, you know, I mean our schedules are busy, so we got weights in the morning, class during the day, and then practice. So generally, uh, guys go to the library like in the evening, probably around like seven. Yeah, I think it's from like seven to nine. Mm -hmm. After dinner, um, that's when uh, that's the best place, the most common place to go get your work done. In the library. How does it feel on game day knowing when you put on your uniform that you're not representing yourself but you're representing the entire university? Um, it feels great for me, with me, I guess. I've been here four years, so like every time I put on my jersey, I know I, I'm representing Morgan State. Like I love my HBCU. Uh, <laughs> Wayne been here longer than me. Um, I mean, I've been here for about a year and a half at this point. I don't really think too much uh, about representing the university per se. I just go out there thinking about getting a win. Like I, you know, like I. That's that's all I know. Ever since I've been playing basketball, it's just that's that's the goal to have fun and to win. So I don't really feel any uh, pressure. Uh, representing the school like I would say if I was uh, representing the country playing um, in the Olympics or something like that so what type of feeling do you get when you you know you're playing and you know it's not only the faculty staff and students but you have people coming from you know the community bringing their families here to support the team and come watch you play um, no feelings with me I mean I guess it's just natural I guess mm -hmm. uh, me I just, I just want everybody to see us win and do well. Like I know we can. That's, that's, that's the only thing. I feel, I feel like when we lose, we letting the school down. I feel like we letting our student body down. I hate to see people leave the gym uh, when we leave. So. What does school spirit mean to you? You can take that one first. <laughs> um, I think when I think of school spirit, I think of. Schools like Duke, Carolina. Uh, I think of big schools like that. I mean, that, that's you know maybe that might not sound good, but I mean that's just the truth. So uh, I think just a student body, um, just being down for the team, whether that be basketball, whether that be football, and I feel like all the athletic teams should have school spirit um, for each other as well. I know uh, like this year. Um, we, we gave more effort, put more effort into uh, supporting the other teams, whether that be volleyball, football, uh, women's basketball. I feel like just, just showing support so, so the athletes know that the student body um, as a whole is, is behind them. Um, I agree with Blake, but with me it's not a, um, it's just like, when I think of school spirit, just thinking of big schools, it's visualizing, like being on the team, you get to like, I done played some big schools, it's like seeing their fans, mm -hmm. like coming back to a home game, seeing what your fans do, seeing the difference, so it's like visualizing it, so you get the idea like what it really could be. 
Okay. What impact has Morgan State University had on your educational as well as athletic career? Um, it had a big impact on mine. Um, um, education wise, I mean, I only have like nine credits to go to graduate. Oh, I'm about to graduate in May. So, like, I was a dude leaving high school, not even planning on going to college. So, education wise, I mean, it was great, great experience. And athletic wise, it was even greater because, like, I had experienced some great stuff. Like, I went to that one of MIAC tournament, been to the NCAA tournament. Like, so I didn't experience a lot of things. So, it's, it's, it's been great. Um, as a younger guy on the team, uh, to follow up on what Wayne said, that's you know that's the reason why why I came here because uh, in high school, like I seen these guys go to the NCAA tournament, I seen them win, I seen them run through the MEAC. So you know that's 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 the route that I want to take. That's what I want to do. I want to do exactly you know and have those same feelings that that Dwayne has experienced and, and been through. And academically. Um, I think it's had, had a good impact on me, especially because uh, the school uh, provides us with the opportunity to take classes over the summer. So um, I, feel like, I feel like that's good and beneficial because I, I can take advantage and get ahead as far as uh, my, my courses and my credits are concerned. Okay. Now, what did you say your major was again? Sociology. And what do you plan to do with that once you graduate? I mean, once I graduate, I plan on playing professional basketball. <laughs> <laughs> the basketball has to stop, but right. um, with sociology, I plan on opening up my own gym, okay. like in the fit, fitness club, helping little, the youth, little kids stay out of trouble with sports. Okay. And what did you say you major? I'm a business marketing major. And what do you want to um, do? I don't know exactly what I want to do with my major. Um, but I know I have a passion for basketball, so I mean, like Wayne said, I mean, if I'm if I'm blessed and fortunate enough, I would love to play overseas professionally and travel the world. And um, when my time has to come to an end, I just want to stay around basketball. I might coach, I might become a trainer, I might, you know, pursue uh, becoming an analyst on ESPN. Anything revolved around basketball, I would be I would be satisfied and happy. Okay, well. Thank you so much for taking the time to interview with us today. It has been a pleasure. My name is Jasmine Johnson and this was your Morgan Minute.